Well, welcome to Straight Talk. My name is Jeff Cross, and I'm with Patty Olinger. She is the executive director of GBAC, a division of ISSA. Good morning, Patty. Good morning, Jeff. Yes, uh, we want to talk today about per in person events. You know, we're almost a year into this pandemic. Everyone's tired of it. Well, we want to be done with it. Events, trade shows. What do you see coming up in the next few months? Any good news? Yes, actually, uh, we are seeing some good news. And I would say that, you know, we have the capability of being able to have events in a safe manner. And there are some examples out there, even recent, of, of being able to have those events. One event that caught your eye that you shared with me was the Orlando Fashion Events Go Live Together, an expo of some kind. Um, not my world, the fashion, but uh, uh, very well attended. So it's been more than two weeks since that event. And they say there are zero, none, no known cases of COVID-19 that came from that event. How is that possible? So, you know, Orlando, um, you know, the, the convention center there in Orlando, Orange County Convention Center has had, a, you know, several in the last year events that have been very successful. This recent one, they have taken it even a step further. They, um, you know, they, they have social distance, they have service provider that is um, in the process of finalizing their accreditation as well. You have an accredited site. You had the event coordinators working with um, the service provider and the, the um, Orange County Convention Center. They were able to have this show and, and look at it from a standpoint of, we know what we need to do, social distancing, um, wearing of masks was required. And they also did something very unique, which we haven't seen yet in a lot of situations. And that was the testing. You know, our, the testing for COVID-19 has become much easier to obtain and they actually required everybody who attended the event to have been tested and be able to either be tested on site prior to going into the show, as well as if they had been tested prior to the show and be able to show that in, from a documentation standpoint. A lot of work to attend an event, but they were safe. It was successful. And we can see a, a nice event that happened with no known COVID-19 cases from it. What about a bigger event? What about the Super Bowl? Ah, you know, the Super Bowl and some of the bowl games, you know, we've have been working with a lot of the stadiums and arenas and um, performing arts centers here this last year, the, the GBAC uh, star team. And we, you know, they were able to hold a Super Bowl at a GBAC star facility. A lot of the bowl games were held at GBAC star facilities. In fact, the Rose Bowl moved from Pasadena to AT&T Stadium, again, a GVAC star facility. These facilities and organizations have really put in place procedures to be able to um, bring back large events. And, you know, with that social distancing, with, you know, the cleaning, disinfection, and what we call infection prevention measures, to be able to provide that confidence and trust, um, both from the employees, with sporting arenas, with the players, with the um, with the fans, uh, and you can you know equate that also over to mass gatherings like trade shows, to be able to hold them safely um, with a lot of communication and yes, with a lot of procedures here in place to get these um, events open safely. So we have many elements here. We have the vaccines that are coming out. We have GBAC Star accreditation program for facilities and now for services. And um, we see trade shows being scheduled that are gonna happen. I used to say show North America in November in Las Vegas is a go. And so, uh, wow, it's great to see all this coming back. I guess this is a status report update that trade shows are gonna happen this year and we're glad to be part of it. Absolutely. And you know, we're all in this together and we're gonna open up together as well. Thank you, Patty. Thank you.